Hello and welcome to the WIHS Journal, Public Affairs from 104.9 FM. I'm Paul Kretschmer. With traditional in-classroom education disrupted this year during COVID-19, some people are working on new or newer methods to teach traditional values in school or out of school. Here is my guest on today's broadcast to talk about one technological answer to that. Okay, I'm on the line with Scott Dow here on the WIHS Journal today, and the topic is game-based learning tools for kids during COVID-19. Um, how do you happen to be interested in that in that pursuit, Scott? Well, we've been working on this for a number of years, for about uh, seven or eight years. We, we uh, started out by working on bringing together gaming and education because um, uh, we figured someday, someday in the future, uh, we would need to be taking back control of the education of our kids and uh, doing more learning at home, uh, basically being more responsible for the learning, you know, what our kids are learning in school. And it uh, just so happens that that's, uh, that's kind of what we're faced with today. So, uh, it's been providential. It seems ironic that with a year with the designation 2020, which is also used, of course, as a phrase to describe vision or the clarity of vision, that you <laughs> should have been prepared, as it were, um, for a situation such as we're seeing right now then. Yeah. Yeah, we've, uh, we're, we're in the right spot at the right time. Um, and you know, I'll, I'll certainly take credit for it, even though I probably wasn't as, as smart as I'd like to appear. So what is the, um, so? What's the starting point then for what what you what you've been working on for the last seven or eight years, and bring us up to date as to where we're at right now as we speak? Then, yeah. So uh, your listeners will probably probably be familiar with Minecraft and other games like that. Fortnite. We've taken those elements from those games and created our own game, and embedded into that game these critical life and job skills. That, that kids are just not being taught in school, things like entrepreneurship, um, trade, preparation, uh, 21st century skills, character. And, uh, and the big one for, for you know, the people who love this country, um, history, the proper history, real history, not the, uh, not the stuff the kids are unfortunately getting in public school. But, uh, you know, the, the real deal. And so by taking back control of those critical pieces of these kids learning in, you know, just 20 to, to 40 minutes a day, you know, after school or whatever, the kids continue to go to school during the day if they're able to, or if they're at, uh, forced to stay at home, then, uh, you know, they have their own learning applications there. But we become a supplement to that. And we make sure that these critical life skills and history, understanding and appreciation for what it means to be an American, that the kids are learning those skills from elementary school on, right? from primary school to through to, to high school. And uh, so that's where we are, we find ourselves today. So we have a lot of kids and parents at home trying to learn things together. And then we're able to help out. And you feel that what you've what you've come up with and created then has application regardless of whether a child is homeschooled or in a charter school or in a faith based school or even in the public school setting. Then that it, it works across all those various exactly. basic foundations. Then, yep. Any any child that needs to learn, regardless of where they are, uh, what kind of school they're in or homeschool or whatever, uh, these kids will learn. And they'll learn it without the need of a classroom, without the need of a teacher, even without uh, you know, the need of a parent um, you know, guiding them through the process. It's kid-driven, game-based learning. So it's just like the kids in Minecraft, right? Playing, learning, uh, practicing, mastering these, these critical life skills. And that's how we take back control of the critical parts of education, the parts of education that the liberals took control of many decades ago. Right? And uh, over the last six months, they've, they've uh, you know, made an opening. They've created an opening for us. 
Yeah, I, I, I would certainly say, and, and maybe not even them, but rather having to deal with a circumstance which is frankly beyond their control as they understand it. Yeah, yeah. So what we've been able to see, the general population, is now, you know, parents are now understanding that they have to take more control, more responsibility for the education of their child. Because the, the traditional school system, you know, can't be trusted. Right, the, the the next pandemic that comes along, or the next crisis, right? Where are the kids going to be? They're going to be back home, and hopefully this time around, parents are more prepared to continue the learning without much disruption of these critical skills. So you're focused uh, on life skills as opposed to learning how to take um, performance tests like the like the like the system that was set up during the Bush administ- uh, George W. Bush administration a few years ago, in which states like Connecticut now still focus on where the teachers sometimes in quiet moments where they're not being overheard by other people say. I don't really feel like I'm spending time teaching the, the students in front of me. Rather, I'm teaching them how to take tests. Exactly. You know, that's a huge problem. Yeah. Teaching to the test, right? We, we've done a lot of work in China. And that's the Chinese education system, basically, teaching to the test. But they're now swinging back. There's, the pendulum is swinging to back to um, you know, teaching life skills there, teaching people, kids how to think solve problems, innovate, and uh, these life skills. Unfortunately, in, in America, we're, we're swinging towards teaching to the test. Right? Uh, that's not our competitive advantage. Our competitive advantage is being innovators. Um, right? Many being people would say that's what have made America great. Absolutely. Right? And, and, and we need to understand that, and we need to you know, start putting more effort into maintaining that. It's not a not a gift we should take take for granted. Um, you know, it's a gift that was that we earned. <laughs> for for a listener who'd like to know more about what you have to say and the the product that you have to offer them in this way, then what's the contact point for people to get off the seat and, and take action? Yeah, and that's what's important right now. Right, there's an opening. Right, uh, the the establishment has left an opening for us. They're hoping that we're too stupid to recognize and take it. But uh, it's there. It's wide open for us to go in and you know, take back some control of the critical parts of our education. So you can just simply go to the website, which is www.americau, as in university, just the U, dot com. And uh, there you'll see some information on what we're doing, get up to speed on what we're doing and comfortable with, with our track record. And uh, you can fill in a contact form, and and uh, we'll we'll provide a free app to you to get started. Um, you know we're you know we we we've created a model now where where you can just use this free app, and if that's all you want to do, then great, uh, you'll get some great value out of that. But uh, we're we're in a crisis here, and we gotta we've gotta act. So so we're we're doing our part. Well, thank you for doing your part, Scott Dow. I appreciate spending a few minutes speaking with you about this, and it sounds like a very exciting opportunity, and I would certainly, after we're off the mic, we'll certainly be ready to run right to your website and see what what it looks like and see what it has to offer. Thank you very much for making that available to the public, sir. All right. Thank you kindly for having having me on. Scott Dow has been my guest on today's WIHS Journal broadcast. For further information about what you heard today, call us at 860-346-1049. That's 860-346-1049. You can also see selected episodes of the WIHS Journal on the WIHS 1049 YouTube account. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of the staff or management of this station. I'm Paul Kretschmer on the WIHS Journal, public affairs from 104.9 FM, WIHS.